I do want to thank uh, the AAUW and the Kasuf County Genealogical Society for putting this on uh, tonight, the Voices from the Past. And also I want to thank the volunteers um, that have, with, like Vicki Mallory and the Chamber, everyone who's, uh, all the other volunteers who have stepped forward to make this uh, weekend celebration a success. So as you're out and about this weekend also and you see some of these volunteers, be sure to reach out and thank them. So we'll go ahead and, and get started tonight. Um, we're gathering to present the annual Heritage Award and experience the voices from the past. A little bit of history with the, uh, the Heritage Award. This was envisioned by Midge Andreessen, as many of you know, back in 2004. And it was uh, a way to create a process to recognize individuals for their commitment and their dedication to Algona. So nominations are based on the following criteria. Service to Algona, service to Kasuth County, their service to the state of Iowa, and actually service beyond the state of Iowa. And it's not only the service, but it's offices that are held locally, within the county, within the state, and, and beyond the state of Iowa as well. So this award committee um, is comprised of a member of each of the following organizations. And as I read these organizations, if you would please come forward, um, I'll, you can speak into the microphone and identify yourself. And the first is AAUW. So if a representative from AAUW would like to come forward, and you can just line up here to my right, maybe, or my left. <laughs> I'm Laura Gabor, representing AAUW. And next uh, committee is Founders Day Committee. Thanks, Rick. I'm Vicki Mallory. I'm representing the Founders Day Committee, which um, Founders Day is a joint city and chamber celebration. So um, thanks to the city for all their support, and thanks to everything that my assistant at the chamber, Amy Whitaker, wherever she is at, all the things that she has done this year. So, thank you. And next we'll call the Lions Club. I'm Reg Roberts, I'm currently president of the Algonquin Lions Club. And the next club is the Morwins Kiwanis, and I'm Rick Murphy, and I'm uh, representing the Morwins Kiwanis Club tonight as well. Uh, do we have a representative here from uh, New Kiwanis? Oh, Dwayne, okay. And then Rotary is next. And I'm Christy Brown representing Algona Rotary Club 100 Years Strong. Thank you. <laughs> and then the Sir Optimus. Thank you uh, for the, to this committee for all the work you did to, uh, to nominate this candidate today. So, um, with that, then I would like to introduce Liz Stowater. Here she is. 
and she is going to share more information about the Heritage Award winner th uh, this evening. Thank you, Rick, and thanks to the committee. As president of the Algona Community School Foundation, I'd like to share with you some insight about this year's Heritage Award winner. This year's award winner's passion is making college available and affordable to kids and their families. The recipient's professional and personal life has been devoted to helping Algona High School students receive over $4.4 million in scholarships since 1984. Through their personal involvement with students, parents, educators, donors, and the community at large, this person has helped students attain scholarships to not only start their academic careers, but to reach their dreams. This year's award recipient is quick to share the impact of a college education on a person's life and to inspire them to reach their dreams. After a long career as guidance counselor at Algona High School and a tireless advocate for higher education on behalf of the Algona Community School Foundation for over four decades, it is my privilege and honor to announce the 20 22 Heritage Award winner, Dale Teeter. state to our school foundation. Uh, we're going to receive somewhere between 10 and 14 million dollars here in the next year or so. Uh, so we've been entirely really fortunate as a school. Uh, our kids are getting this year our major scholarships are 5,500 per student going on to college. It's renewable for four years. And so we've been just uh, it's just been an amazing thing for our community. Uh, I'm humbled to be here. Actually, my wife has done <laughs> so much. She should be up. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. You can be seated then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, people. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. So next on tonight's agenda is Voices from the Past. 